Okay, the braided cable bracelet. We need to make a slip knot first. And if your yarn is thin, I'd suggest um, doubling your yarn. So holding with two strands. You can do both ends of your strand. One's inside it and the other one's on the outside. Okay, this is how we cast on. One stitch already. Two. Three. Four. If you need me to go slower, I have a video on cast on. Row one, all we do is knit. Easiest thing, okay? So we put our right needle through from the front to the back. Then we grab our yarn. We go over and around our needle. And take it off. And we flip it over and we purl. So put our needle in through the front or back to the front and put our yarn over and around. Put it through. Pull it off. Over. Ooh. Over and around. Take it off. Okay. So purl all the way to the end of the row. Okay, so for row three, you're going to knit the first stitch. And then it says C6F, which is um, the cable. You're going to take your three stitches and put them on your cable needle or whatever you have to hold them. And it says F, so we hold them in the front. And now, while we hold them in the front, we're going to knit three. One, two, three. Okay, and now we knit off of our ca uh, cable needle. Or if you like, you can put them back on your left needle. They tend to slide off a little easier on your cable needle. Oh. Okay, and then knit four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for row four, you purl, and row five, you knit, and row six, you purl, okay? So I'll see you at row seven. Remember to download the written pattern, because it'll be a lot easier to follow with me. 
Okay, so row seven, we're going to knit four. And then C6B, which is we take three off. And then we put them in the back. And then we knit three. And then we knit the three stitches off of the cable needle. And then we knit one. And the last row, row eight, is weave purl. So pretty easy. Now all you do is repeat these rows until your desired length. Okay? And then I will meet you at the end when we sew our stitches together with the Kitchener stitch. So now that we're done, it's the right measurement that we want. I uh, cut this off, and now what we need to do is make it attach together. So this is what I do, and here's some. Um, this is what this one looks like. You can barely tell. Let's see, where is this one? Oh, focus. It's right there. So it's really discreet, which is great, and this is the easiest way to do it. What we're going to do, it has to be really small because we have to pick up these stitches and I'm picking them up the easy way. Do you see how it's like V and then this little circle thing or dash? That's what we want to pick up, and we want to pick up 11 of those. So I'm going to start, there we go, so one, two, three, and there's other ways to do this, but this is just how I did it. And see how we just picked them right back up. Be easier if we did the provisional cast on, but they didn't tell us to do that. Okay, so now we have our stitches on. You can put them back on the needle, but you're going to have to have a smaller needle because they're pretty tight. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on here. I'm going to use the front yarn. And we get our tapestry needle. Put it through. Okay, and what we first do is... This is the Kitchener stitch, so we um, go through the first uh, needle by purling, but we don't take it off. Okay, and then you go through this back one knit-wise, but we don't take it off. Now, we go through the front, and we knit, and we slip it off. And then we purl. Okay. And we don't slip this one off. And then you purl, slip, and pull that through because it's easier to go through this next stitch. 
knitwise. Okay, and that's what you do all the way to the end of the row. We knit, slip, purl, pull this through, purl, slip, and then you knit. One more time, and then you can do the rest. Knit, slip, purl, and then pull it, and then purl, slip, and I pull right now, and then knit. Okay? Weavens. Thank you.